Alrighty. Welcome. How is everyone today? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. Sideways if you're like, yeah. Thumbs down if you're not having a good day. Oh, love that. Awesome. All right. Well, we are just about one week into stage four lockdown. So go us. Now, today's workout, I will admit, is going to be pretty hard. All right. What I want you to focus on, though, is the fact that you guys got up this morning to come and work out, that it's only 30 minutes and that you're going to get out what you put in. So you're only going to get the benefits of how hard you work. All right. So if you take the easy option and, you know, say, oh, Abby's not looking, I'm going to skip this, this last one. The only person that's going to miss out is you. Okay. Now we're going to do a lot of dribbling today and also a lot of burpees. So I'm going to explain what those are. But first, we're going to get nice and warm. We're going to get warm with the dribbling workout today. So everyone stand up, grab your ball. And we're just going to start with right-handed pounds. Up to our knee, right-handed pounds. Good work. Now keep those eyes up. I don't want you looking down at the ball and I don't want to see a hand on your knee like this. Okay, we're down in our stance. We should be feeling it in our butts and in our thighs. If you put your hand on your leg like that, it makes it easier on them. All right, now switch hands. Make those dribbles really strong. I want you to feel like you're pushing away the ground. Awesome. Make it strong. Beautiful. Now we're going to go into little finger taps. So I want to see how low you can get that ball. Just get it down nice and low. Get that ball moving really quickly. Good. So the ball should only be coming up a tiny bit off the ground. Now, guys, if your cameras aren't on, can you please turn them on if you can so that I can look at your form throughout the session? All right, switch it over to the other hand. Little finger taps. Staying down in that stance. Eyes up. See how fast you can get that ball moving. Now, if you're having to bend like this, that means your legs aren't bent. Um, your legs aren't bent enough, so you got to get down in your stance lower. All right. Next one, we're going into crossovers. So nice, low and wide. So I want you to think that you've got monkey arms, and your arms are moving side to side with the ball. Good. Now bring it out even wider. Really test those handles. Good. Now we're going to bring it in really, really low. So teeny tiny crossovers in front. Beautiful. Get those hands moving. All right. Bring it back as wide as you can get it. Good, so guide that ball. Awesome, now we're gonna bring it down really nice and low again. All right, so now we're gonna go between the legs and we're going to jump into it. So it's between, between. All right, so let's get going. Awesome work, keep going guys. Really good job. If you need to, you can take a dribble in between your jumps. All right, now we're gonna get into behind the back. So down nice and low in your stance, the ball comes underneath our bums. Now you should be feeling some heat through the tops of your legs now. That's what we want.
All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job, bring it in. Okay, so I'm going to post something into the chat just so that you guys have a record and you can look back as we go. So how this workout's gonna work, we have got eight minutes on the clock. In that eight minutes, you're going to see how many times you can get through this list, okay? So our first one is 30 right hand pounds. So we're down nice and low. We are pounding that ball as hard as we can, okay? So it should be challenging for you. <clears throat> Our next dribble is going to be 30 pounds with the left. The so same thing, really strong. Then we're going into 30 crossovers. I want them to be strong ones. Yeah, so notice how I'm not just dropping the ball. I want it to be strong. Yeah. Then we've got 30 cross between, starting with the ball in our right hand. So it's cross between, cross between. And what I want you to think is your feet aren't concrete. So don't keep your feet still. I want it to be like this, so we're jumping. So cross between. Okay, then the next one is starting with the ball on your left, same thing. Getting those feet moving. And then <clears throat> that's our last one, okay. In between each time that you do 30 reps of those dribbles, so it's 30 reps of every dribble. And then after every one, you are going to do three burpees. So a burpee is when, you can't really see me very clearly. A burpee is when we jump up nice and high. So we jump up, we get our hands down to the floor, we bend our knees, we jump our feet out, we jump our feet back in, and we jump up high, okay? So we get down like a frog, jump your legs out, back to a frog position, jump up high, okay? Um, does everyone understand that? Yep, sideways, some of you are a bit confused. And thumbs down if you just got no idea what I'm talking about. All right, awesome job. So we are going to get started. So grab yourself a really quick drink if you need to before we go. All right. <clears throat> I'm just gonna set a timer too. Now, my challenge for you is going to be who can get through this more than twice, okay? Oh, am I glitching? I think I might be. All right, ready, set, let's go. Good job, everybody. Good, so Katie, jump those feet out. Don't walk them out, jump out. Awesome job, guys. Sorry, I'm just fixing my internet. All right, awesome work. Really good job, guys. Keep those eyes up there. Don't look at the ball. Good, that's better. Awesome work, guys. Keep going, keep going. Nice work, Scout. Get that ball even wider, though. Make it stronger, Cade. That's better, good. Good, Alyssa. Awesome work, everybody. Nice, Sarah. Good job, guys. We're two minutes down.
Awesome work. Make sure you keep those eyes up on the next one. Read way to get down quickly. Awesome work. Beautiful. Really good job, everyone. Keep going. Eyes up, Kira. You know better than that. Good job, Ava. Get down into a flat line. Even more. That's better. Good. Hey, Zach, bend those knees. Get down in that stance. Good work, everyone. Keep going. Really good, Cody. Good job, girls. Awesome work, everyone. Get that ball moving as fast as you can. Remember, you only get out what you put in. Yes, Sarah. Way to pump it out. Awesome work. Nice work, John T and Cody. I reckon you can get down lower, though. Abby? Yeah? It's starting to rain at our house. Okay. Well, if you want, you can go find somewhere undercover because we don't need a ring. Thank you. Awesome work, everyone. Keep going, keep going. We are three minutes down. All right, I'm gonna join in now that I know you're all, you're all doing, you all know what you're doing is what I was trying to say. Now on your burpees, I want you to jump up as high as you can. That, get that hand off of your knee. Make those dribbles strong. We are halfway, halfway guys. I lost the headphone. Keep working. Really good job, guys. Keep going, keep those eyes up on the dribbles and make them strong. Keep going. Awesome work, guys. We have under three minutes to go. That's okay, Ava. Awesome job, guys. Keep going. Keep going. We have got two minutes to go. See if you can get through another round. Now remember, your mind is the biggest obstacle you've got to get over. So it's all in your head. So tell yourself, I can do this. Some work, guys. Keep those eyes up on the dribbles. Keep going. The 
But right now we don't focus on what feels sore or that we feel tired. We focus on keeping on going, seeing how far we can get. All right, we have got one minute to go. See how far you can get through them this round. Only 35 seconds to go. Well, keep going guys, 20 seconds to go. Try and get this exercise finished. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Whew. All right. Grab a quick drink, everybody. <clears throat> Who's feeling a bit tired after that? Awesome, that's what I like to see. All right, now I'm just gonna type out what our next thing is. Now, for anyone who's listening at home that isn't doing this live, I'll just reread out what we just did. So it was 30 pounds in the right hand, three burpees, 30 pounds in the left hand, three burpees, 30 crossovers, three burpees, 30 cross betweens starting in the right hand, three burpees, 30 cross between starting in the left hand, and then three burpees. All right. Now everyone, our next thing that we are going to do is going to work our abs. So <clears throat> if you are outside and you're on concrete, go and grab something that you can put your hands on so whether that's a mat or a jumper or a towel or something. So go quickly do that now. <clears throat> awesome work. I love that we're all prepared. Now, we have got two minutes right now of hard work. How it's going to work. We've got 15 seconds of a side plank. Now, actually, I might put this on the floor. A side plank is when we have our elbow underneath our shoulder like this. So I don't want to see it out here, directly under your shoulder. My feet are going to be on the ground and I lift up nice and high like this. Now what I don't want to see is you having your hips down nice and low like this. They need to be up high and you need to have a straight line from your toes to your shoulder, okay? So we are going to have a side plank for 15 seconds. Pardon me, 15 seconds. Then after our side plank, we are going to get straight in to a normal plank. So our hands are directly underneath our shoulders. We're getting up onto our toes and holding a plank like this, okay? So we've got 15 seconds in our side plank, 45 seconds in our normal plank. Then we're gonna go without a rest, straight into the other side for our side plank. So if you were on your left hand side, then you're going to go into your right hand side. And then we've got a 45 second plank. Okay, so it's two minutes and two minutes only. Does everyone understand? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Beautiful, now if you start to feel your back getting sore during this, I want you to think, bring your belly button into your spine. So suck that belly in and really tense your abs. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, Timer ready. 
So get down ready for your side, first side plank. And if, you're, if, if you find that you're slipping, you can go and put your feet up next to a wall for this so that you don't slide that way. All right, ready. Oh, hang on, I'll just wait for Kira and Harris. Now, throughout this, I want you to say to yourselves in your head, I've got this. Don't focus on the pain, focus on how strong your body is. All right, ready, set, let's go. So up for that side plank. Yeah, five seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, straight into a normal plank. So straight up into it. There are no breaks in this. Awesome work, everyone. Oh, we've got a dog in the way there. That's very funny. <laughs> oh, I can't see because of my hair. I need an ISO haircut. All right, we've got 15 seconds to go. Keep holding it. Tense through your tummy. You guys can do it. Dig really deep here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, straight back into our other side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we've got one more 45 second plank. Get down into it. I'm not gonna start until everyone's in the position. And if I see anyone drop, we start again. So jump back up. I can see a couple of you cheating. Remember, if you're starting to feel pain through your back, tense through your tummy. Awesome work, guys. Sorry if you can hear my really loud breathing. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome work. Whose tummy's feeling it after that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, one of the reasons why it's really important to have a strong core for basketball is because our base is our core. So if we can have strong tummy muscles, <clears throat> it means that we are able to jump higher, run faster, change direction quicker, so we can defend our, our player better. So if you guys have any spare time, which I think you might have a little bit at the moment, Doing that for two minutes, just once a week, or even twice a week, will be really good for you, okay? Now, <clears throat> we have got one more challenge. We have got, I'm gonna put three minutes on the clock. In this three minutes, you are going to see how many Push up. No, actually, let's do two minutes. We're going to see how many push ups you can do. Now, for my under 12s girls that are joining in, I want, you <laughs> I want you to do them on your knees, okay? And even maybe some of the under 12s boys too. So if you can't get, if you can't get all the way, I'm going to put this down on the floor again, sorry. If you can't get down to this angle here, with your push-ups, I want you to go on your knees, okay? If you can do that on your toes, perfect. But what I don't want to see is this. Yeah, I don't want to see push-ups that aren't into enough depth. So we want to get down nice and low with these push-ups, all right? 
So I'm going to put a timer, two minutes, and we're going to see how many we can do, all right? So you might decide to do 10 push-ups, then have a five second rest, then do 10 push-ups and have a five second rest. You might like to just keep going the whole time until you can't go no more, or you might like to do five and then count two seconds and do another five, all right? So whatever you need to do, we're gonna see how many we can get done, all right? Does everybody understand? All right. Ready, getting down in position. Awesome work, ready, set, let's go. I'm just gonna help out with some of your technique too. Good. Now it's totally fine if you're on your knees for this. So Cody and crew, make sure you stick your butts down. Don't have your butt sticking up in the air. Good job, Sarah, nice technique. Sienna, I think you can get a little bit lower down than that. Really push it, that's better, good. Now, what's better than getting heaps of reps in is getting the depth. Now, Katie, on your ones, I want you to get your knees out a little bit further. So right now, your knees are underneath you like this, but I want them to be like that. So you're in a plank position and then you go down, okay? Yep, that's better. Good, now go down into your push-up. So you're not planking, good. Have your hands on the floor still, yep. And now go down from there. That is perfect, Katie, that's how you do it. Nice, Zach, really good. Good job, guys. Keep going. We've got 50 seconds to go and then our workout is done. All right, so see how many you can do. Now, what I want you to think as well is don't have your head down to the floor. So think head is in a straight line with your back. Awesome work. Keep going guys, really good. Kira, keep your head up in a straight line with your back, it's dipping down. That's better, good. So look slightly in front of you. Guys, we've got 10 seconds to go. Get out another five as quickly as you can. All right, and time. Whoo, whose arms are sore. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, awesome job. Now, we're gonna do a couple of really quick stretches before we finish. And these three stretches, are long, just like how our abs make us, having strong abs makes us quicker and faster, quicker and faster, oh, isolation's getting to me. Just how having strong abs makes us, you know, more explosive and quicker on the court, these stretches will help us jump higher and run faster. So what I want you to do first is to get one leg in front of you like this. Your back leg is straight and we're leaning down. Now, if you are super flexible, what I want you to think is hands out in front of you, head down to the floor, okay? Awesome work, everyone. Nice, Beth, you're flexible. We've got a few flexible people here, awesome. Now, for you boys who might not be so flexible, what you can do is have your leg up on your toes, up your, be up on your toes on the front foot and just try and get it down. All right, now let's switch to the other side. So same thing. Now, one side of your body's probably gonna be a little bit more flexible than the other. That's totally normal. Nice work, Jonty. <laughs> awesome work, Scout. 
Really good job, everybody. All right, now we're gonna come up into a hip flexor stretch. So front leg is up. We're going to squeeze our butt cheeks together and tilt our pelvis forward. So we're pushing our pelvis forward, tucking our butt in and then leaning forward. So you should feel a big stretch up through here and down through your quads to the front of your thigh. If that isn't giving you enough of a stretch, what I want you to do is whichever knee is forward, or sorry, whichever knee is backwards, that hand reaches over your body. Good, but remember to lean forward. So if you're not feeling a stretch, adjust your body. All right, now we're gonna switch sides, same thing. So back leg on the ground, front leg up, tilt your pelvis forward, lean forward slightly and you should feel a strong stretch. If you don't feel a stretch there, I want you to push your hips up forwards and up to the sky as much as possible. So what I mean by that is I don't want to see you just doing this. I want to see tilting and pushing. Okay, so tilt upwards, then go forwards. Good. All right. Now our last one is a glute stretch. So on your backs, you can either do it like this, holding one leg or straight leg on the ground, pulling the other leg across like this. All right, now same thing on the other side, last one. Now, whenever you're stretching, what I want you guys to think about is holding the move, holding the position and taking a few breaths to really relax into it. If you hold your breath because it's painful, you won't get the most out of the stretch. All right, everyone bring it in. So absolutely awesome effort today. That was pretty hard, but really good job. Way to work hard and way to get something out of it. And remember, for those other people that aren't getting up in the mornings to do this, you guys have got a one up on them. All right. So it's all about working hard and also staying sane at the moment. Yeah. So basketball and exercising I've found is a really good way to keep your head nice and clear and to feel like, you know, you've had a bit of fun that day. All right. Okay. Awesome job, everyone. And I hope to see you all next week. And let's see what we have in store for them. Yes, Sarah, do you have a question? No? Okay. All right. Awesome job, everyone. See you around. Thank you, Abby. Bye. That's Bye. okay. Thank you. My Thank pleasure, you. That's okay. Bye. Bye. Awesome job, Sienna.